All right, guys, welcome to Dark Pictures Little Hope. Man, <clears throat> this is um, it's quite exciting um, because this is the second game now that I'm playing. Actually, no, it's the third, third game I'm playing on this channel. Um, obviously, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be starting the... I probably won't be uploading it, but I'll be starting the, the recording for... Assassin's Creed Valhalla, so can't wait to get get my hands on that. But right now, Little Hope. I'm. This is a scary game, and I'm not good with scary games. I <laughs> I scare easily. This is uh. This is not good. I should not be playing this game. Let's put it that way. Um, but let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's see. Um, let's see how we do. So make sure you are subscribed. And make sure you like the videos. It helps me a lot by you guys just, you know, subscribing and liking these videos. It lets me know that I'm doing well. And it helps the, with the progression of the channel. Uh, the more subscribers, the more likes, the more videos that I will be uploading. So without further ado, let's let's just get right into it. All right, let's go. All right, so uh, solo story scene selection. God damn it, never mind. <laughs> Alright, new story. New slot, let's go. To play with a controller, press A. We are with a controller. I, I was gonna play with the mouse, but let's just get on with it. I love the cutscene graphics. They are really good. I'm not exactly sure when dialogue comes in, but so I'm gonna. <laughs> this is already too scary for me. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously there's gonna be something. It's gonna be something hampering the way. They're gonna make a detour, and then shit happens. <laughs> Cutscene graphics look good. I really like them. They are sharp as hell. Nice. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. that chip any harder it'll wear away to nothing how long have you been sober a few days shy of three months impressive i heard the first 90 days are the toughest 
and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down, it's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Bearing updated. Uh, what? A girl stood in the road caused the bus driver to lose control and crash the bus. Uh, okay. The little girl. Oh, okay. So, what is it? What is it pointing to? Like, I'm trying to move. It's just east. Never mind. Uh, ooh, secrets. Yo, what? Uh, pictures locked, but that's about it. All right, let's get to it. Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory- You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is? You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Not tonight. No way. Not gonna lie, but the woman looks a lot older than the man. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Tanya has always been late. Nah, not really. I well, only since she's been seeing him. What? That guy's. I didn't no even good click on her. that. All that new age bullshit reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic, legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? Uh. No, no, no. Uh... Christ, you're like a kid possessed. Your head will start spinning around in a minute. Yo, I didn't. Yo, I didn't even choose that. Oh, never mind. Ice. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. 
He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Okay, uh... Some... That we got... Oh, uh, I would say disappointed. He nearly fell through the front door. Some dad we got, huh? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Uh, I'm gonna say amused. Amused or bemused. Huh. Uh, forget it. I'm gonna put amused. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. <laughs> Hey, Dennis. <sighs> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I'd just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Um, uh, I'm gonna... Go check on her. Uh, I'll just say concerned. probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. Uh, press and hold. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Sweet! Let's have a look at secrets. Okay. Those gas stoves are really dangerous. Uh, I remember we had, well, I had one of those. Uh, oh shit! Woo. This is. It's okay. This is uh, easy now. I think it's gonna get harder now. Ooh. Ooh. That was sweet. That was composure. That was smooth. Let's go. Let's go. He woke up? What? <clears throat> you need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. Um, yeah, I'm going to say reassuring. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? 
The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Okay, move right. Uh, the dad really does seem like a dick. <laughs> he is. Uh, oh, here we go. The New England witch trials. What the hell? Why do they have this? The Little Hope Museum. Why do they even have this? What? So weird. Uh, anything here? Wait, I can't go through here. What? Uh, before I go, here we go. Shroud of Innocence. What does that say? It must be distraction from this madhouse. Okay. There must be some. Um, has to be. Maybe it's a reference to one of the. Uh, yo, this looks scary as hell. What the hell? The sweet. The tire has like stars on them. Uh yeah. I don't want to look any further. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Anything here? No. Nothing. Wait a minute. Let's see. Anything here? No. I don't think you can sprint. Can you? I don't think so. Closed. All right. Locked. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, can I go through here? Uh, from here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, what's this? Examine. Uh, people named Megan Clark. Attendance. Uh. Oh, she's wow. doing. She's Megan doing. is in even more trouble than I thought. Yeah, <laughs> that is so bad. Uh, F is like seventy or below. What? F is seventy or below. That is some. That is harsh, man. Wait, when I went to school, I thought C was sixty percent or seventy percent. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know what? This is actually quite harsh. Anthony, where the hell are you? Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. You could be right about my family. I think so too. Yo, Tanya. what? What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. So scary, bro. Hold on. Who's she talking to? Are you kidding me? What? How can a tile floor get caught on Shit. fire? What? Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan! Anthony! Help! 
Yo, what she straight up killed every single one I of my I got trapped family. in the attic. Get to the balcony! Anthony, help! Help! Hey, Dad! Smash the window. What? <laughs> hey, Dad! I can't breathe! <laughs> He's gonna die, isn't he? Oh my god. Yo. Help I'm not helping Megan. She's a psychopath. Are you kidding me? There's no way I'm helping her. Anthony! Help! What should I do? Uh... Use the window. No, I'm... Don't go back. Get to the drain pipe and climb down. It doesn't look. Um, it's probably a bad idea. <laughs> it's probably a bad idea. But she's not gonna die from that. I mean, it's not that high up. Are you kidding? What? <laughs> what? Holy shit. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. Oh, oh my god. That is such... That is such a bad idea. I... <laughs> I should not be laughing. But basically the... The boy has killed everyone. <laughs> He's doing the girl's job for him, for her. <laughs> oh my god, this is not funny, but it's it's. I don't know. It's making me laugh. He started it all. What have you done, Mom? Stop! Okay, here we go. Hello. And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps 
disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you, rational, emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. Interesting. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Who are they? Hmm. I thought he was going to be alive. Uh, Andrew. I thought his name was Anthony. Anthony, <clears throat> rather. Wait, what? This doesn't make sense. Taylor, college student, headstrong, sensitive. Okay. John, college professor... He looks like the dad. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. <sighs> Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? Uh, let's go with Tess. What do you want me to do, John? Call for help, if you can manage that. Yo, what? Taylor got irritated with John when asked help. No, what? Okay, so, okay, who? Uh, Andrew, which I thought was Anthony, is now Andrew. That doesn't make sense. Uh, flatatious, sensitive, hopeful, deceitful. Oh, oh, okay. 
Okay, that makes sense. John Right. He's not well, <laughs> I just made it work. Okay. Try to call for help. Secrets. Okay. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Okay, I've improved the relationship. Trades updated. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to keep stopping this. I just want to check something out. Uh, how do you obtain secrets again? Come on. Okay, let's. Hey, let's carry Andrew, on. buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay though. Just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap! May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Ugh! Uh, Daniel, 20. He looks like the brother. Fuck. Defense. Where's my phone? Oh. <sighs> Angela, just impressive. Understanding. Hey. Why are all the, all the characters... Hey. Daniel, Look that the you? same as the family. John. That doesn't make sense. Good to hear you, Daniel. Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too. Thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John. Any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. Well, <coughs> come on, you can do it. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. Uh, well, actually, that... Uh, you know what? Why leave the bus? We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. Uh, what? Team Taylor? Why is there teams? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, I now understand why they are look the same, because it was a dream, right? So... Okay, so, um, 
can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off. Oh my, what the hell is that? Oh, you're kidding me. Now what? Looks like something out of a creepy horror movie. Actually, you're nearly right. I've seen stuff like this in books. It's there to ward off evil spirits. Jesus, this really is a night full of nightmares. Okay. I think I'm meant to look at this, yeah. Welcome to Little Hope. Abandon Hope. Welcome to Abandon Hope. <laughs> yeah. Little Hope. There's no you hope know this in place? it. this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. Could you care to explain? H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. But you didn't even <laughs> tell us Easy, that. Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Uh, Taylor forfeited the argument to John and they decided to leave. No, yeah. Here's the thing. Um, so why? Ah, okay. Yeah, I, there's, I need to build some relationship with these two. Actually, Andrew. Um, nothing's coming up yet. Nothing's coming up. <laughs> Did he just sniff his... Good to see you <laughs> two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one. Push! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Great job, you two. <laughs> What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Um... Uh... I'm gonna say nothing, in case he wants to... Bad things happened here. There we go. A long time ago. Which you are dying to tell us all about. I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. Yeah. Let's I'm go not with this. wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. That is not a good idea. I still idea. think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. I think they want to do other things, you know? You know? 
It's not gonna work out though. <laughs> you get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa! Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. What just happened? Didn't they just go? Oh, okay. We're trapped here! There's no way out! I, I don't understand! She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay. what do we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. I'm gonna take a football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There's nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. I agree. Um... Why did you say we might all be dead? They are forcing them, you know. You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Yo, there's that cat. What? I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Clearly, it's um, it's forcing them to go this way. The uh, whatever the, you know, scary thing is. I'm not sure is. this is such a great idea. We should check it out. 
There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. Uh, what did you talk about? Why does it matter if they are together? Let's go probe him. What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Uh, I mean, honestly, it doesn't really, I don't care. Like, some people are together. Let her so imagine not. whatever she wants. Exactly. Probably drives her crazy. <laughs> It doesn't matter what other people think. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. That's not a way to start a relationship. Are we standing here all night or are we going inside? Whoa, shit. Oh my god. Whew. That scared me. <laughs> I'm telling you, I am not good with horror movies. God damn it. Shit. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, Sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. Um, normal seconds, normal circumstances. Uh, in movies you'd see them take a drink, but not for me. Not for me. So keep it clear. Why are you even here? Little hope sure isn't the town it used to be. Yeah, what are you doing here? What are you doing in here alone? I'm sure you have a good reason to be here. Right? Yeah, I got my reasons for being here. You want to tell us about it? Not the sharing type. Do I look like I'm a big talker? Let's just leave him be. <laughs> there are all kinds in his play. <laughs> What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back then. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. Overbearing. <clears throat> so it's going... You need an uh, what? Funny. 
At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double, or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Okay. Uh... And then hit the target. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Triple 20, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's... Okay. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. Ooh. That is one hell of a shot. Oh, so close. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Okay, so I'm controlling him now. Talk to Vince, search the bar. Uh, I'm going to search the bar first. <laughs> uh, doesn't, doesn't work. Obviously. Fuck. Okay. Is this a door? Yeah. But I can't go through it. Oh, here we go. Um... Yo, what? Hmm. Meeting votes. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. Ah, okay. So everyone left because of everything basically closing down. 1979. Does that mean it's 1979 right now? Well, in, in the present present day I don't know hey this way let's get out of here and oh no 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 I hope you all hear that I definitely heard something did you hear that as well come on whatever it was came from outside I really think it's smart to go back outside well, there's nothing for us here we need to move on I don't want to move on now. It's way too early. I didn't give it get a chance. Best to... of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. Oh, are you kidding me? What? I shouldn't have clicked. Hey, ah, god damn it. I didn't know that was going to happen. From the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Heading into Little Hope okay. feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? Uh oh. Here we go. Let's see. What's what is here? Okay. Just a man drinking some alcohol, okay. Uh can I go back in? Because I really want to um no, he did lock us out. Wait a minute. Please. Oh, are you kidding me? God damn it. Alright. That's uh Why is she still there? Come on. Am I meant to do something here? Yeah, there's nothing here. Come on. Let's go. 
Let's go, woman. Come on. It's never a good idea to be alone. If she ain't coming, I'm going. <laughs> uh, let's see. Right, so... Yo, what town my bed's eye view of us? Town. Okay, so we are... I think we're going the right way. Bar. Right, where at the bar? Where is the bar? Wait, where's the bar? Oh, okay, number one. You are here. Ah, right. Okay. Okay. I got you. Let's go. What's this? Postcard. Okay. What? Picture sheets can be viewed again in the collections. Interesting. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's... Uh, right, fearful, insecure, uncertain, altruistic, detached, practical. Okay. Not good with Angela. Uh, Taylor, Daniel... Daniel? Uh, no, <laughs> it seems like no one is good with Angela. It's... That's quite funny. Angela's... I mean, the age gap. Like, why is she... Why is she there? Is, is she, like, a mature student or something? Alright. Let's have a look. The secrets. What? See? I knew it. I knew it because... I wasn't able to... Navigate. What? Yeah, it didn't really let us um, search a house. Well, it was, it was my fault, really. Just want to double check this. Yeah. No way. Alright. Why is she why isn't she coming? I have a bad feeling about this. We'll figure it out. Yep. The way this fog just appears. It's not natural. I agree, mate. I agree. It is definitely not natural. Yo, what? Yo, this is so creepy. What the hell? What the hell is this thing? Looks pretty similar to the one Taylor saw by the bus. John said they're to ward off evil spirits. Where would he get an idea like that? I don't know. He's a professor. You must read a lot. I have to admit, I'm curious about what it means. I've heard more than enough, thank you. Yo, did you see that little girl? Holy shit. Uh, didn't scare you, did I? Uh, are you super... Yeah, let's go probing. Are you the superstitious type? I never believed in this kind of thing. Doesn't seem like you can say the same. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any yeah, more time I mean, with this disgusting thing. That was not normal. Uh, traits updated. Uh, Taylor was mad at Angela. Daniel disagreed. Okay. Um, insecure. I think we need to improve the insecurity. We need Can to you get him more sensitive. Keep up? Yeah, my bad. My bad. Do 
Yo, what? Oh my god, that skit. What? Holy shit. I'm telling you, I am not good with horror games. You're gonna see me, like, frightened. Uh... Yeah, oh my god, this is, um... This way, stay close to Angela, find the others. Alright. Um... Yeah, Angela needs to stay close to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one searching. Jeez. Hey, wait for us! What is that? What the... What's this, uh, example? Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Uh, it's a doll. That's what it is. It's weird as hell, though. Bro, look, look at the detail on the hands. Like, on the wrists and everything. This game is so Hey, Matt, come back here. There's someone else out here, by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them, too. Are you okay? Uh, this place is all wrong. This place is all wrong. Whatever happened here, it's over now. You have no clue. You didn't see what we saw. I don't get it. What exactly happened here? Uh, let's go. Confused. This young girl came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary... Did she want to hurt you? Uh, I'm going to say anxious. She could have been malicious, I guess. <sighs> Yo, what? You're burning up. Did that girl do something to you? We should all keep an eye on Andrew. I'm okay. Pain's going away now. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. I already do not like the professor. He's like a know-it-all, you know what I mean? He's, um... He's so dismissive, I just don't like... I don't like his character. <laughs> yeah... Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, Sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? 
Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You helped make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Did he just give us some info? He just gave us a clue. Find the bus driver. Hmm. That little girl, she sounded so strange. Stand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. All right. I might end it here. Yeah, one thing I wish I did was um, look through the bar, which I didn't do. But anyways, let's end it here. Uh, I'll carry this on in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Take care.